Hey guys, Rob here with Hammer and Halo Projects and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be working on a mobile home. But what makes this mobile home super special is the view from the front porch. Just check out that view. It's not too often you see a trailer on a lot like this. This is incredible. So I'm super excited to get started on this project. We're going to be ripping up the bathtub and installing a walk-in shower. So it should be kind of interesting. Not sure what the construction type is like in here. What I do know is the walls are quarter inch panel board and the framing likely going to be two by three construction. So it's going to be kind of challenging to deal with. Let's jump right in and get into it. All right guys, here's what we're dealing with. This is a bathtub and enclosure dating back to the mid 80s. And yeah, I think it's seen better days. A previous owner even went as far as to paint the tub with latex paint. Now the new owner is kind of embarrassed about the whole situation because every time one of his house guests finishes having a bath, they bring out a piece of the latex paint that came off. So we're gonna do our best to try to give him something he can be proud of and share with his company. Now I was originally gonna do a step-by-step -step video of this bath and shower conversion, but due to the length of time we spent on this project, I've decided to speed it up with a time-lapse video. If you have any questions as to any of the processes we used, please feel free to ask anything in the comment section below. And that is about as far as I want to take it without shutting the water off. So really all we do is remove the trim kit. Don't take these valves off or you'll have water shooting out all over you. To remove the basket strainer in this tub, you can use a pair of pliers or needle nose pliers or anything that'll fit between the grooves in there. Or you can pick up one of these tools. This is a basket strainer removal tool, I guess it's called. And all it does is basically sit right in there, grabs the little cross members in there, and then you turn that and it'll spin the basket out. So. Handy tool to have. Uh, if you don't have one, you want to get yourself one, I'll put a link in the description below. So make sure you check that out. Pick one of those up if you need it. They're very, very handy. Even if you only do this once or twice a year, it's a great tool to have. Just like that. And get all the hair out with it. That is awesome. <laughs> Here's a perfect example of the unforeseen contractors talk about. The things you can't see until after demolition is underway. This tub was insulated with old newspapers and what looks like foam mattress padding stuffed around the drain pipes. Nothing surprises me anymore. Hey guys, so we're changing midstream here. Originally we were just doing the shower. We've now decided with the owner to pull his laminate floor up and do a new vinyl click flooring in here as well, along with a four inch base and new casings. So I went ahead and I took the wall out on the control side of the tub. And as you can see, being a trailer, it's kind of built with two by two wall structures, 24 inch on center. Doesn't really work for me, but the biggest problem I'm facing right now is, I don't know if you can see this, but the tank is leaning. 
seems to be the floor is maybe a little rotted on the bottom and the tank really needs to be pushed that way because it's right where I need to build a two by two wall to get the new control and shower head in. So being a gas hot water tank, I've went ahead and called a plumber to come and disconnect the tank. We figure we'll also replace the tank. It is seven years old already. So it's got a couple, three years left maybe in it. Uh, so we might as well change it all out while the tub is out and easily accessible. We can re-level the floor and uh, all that. So I'm gonna have to wait on this. So because of that, we're gonna focus more on the new vinyl flooring that we're gonna put in. I'm gonna go to the store, grab that load that we ordered and get it loaded in the truck and then start lay in the vinyl floor while we wait for the plumber. Once the plumber is finished, got the new tank in, then we'll build a wall across here, we'll get a control mounted, get our drain set up for a shower base, and then we can continue on with the shower. So we just went and picked up the new vinyl clip flooring. It's about eight inches wide. It's really, really nice, thick vinyl click flooring, and it actually has a cork back on it. So this is the color. And as you can see, it's, it's quite thick and it also has a cork back on it. You can always tell a high-end vinyl floor and this is definitely a high-end floor. It's well worth the money to uh, buy something like this. They're six feet long planks and they're about eight and a half inches wide. Plumbers have come and gone and as always made it look easy. We also had them install the new shower control but they're still coming back to install the base and once that's done we can rock and roll. All right plumber has been back he installed the base for us and now we are set to drywall so as with every renovation there's always issues this being a mobile home the walls were quarter inch so I've only got quarter inch gap under this window ledge and around so we're gonna use quarter inch drywall on that wall quarter inch on the back wall and 5 8 fire guard on this wall and we've added a little built-in niche to uh, hold some shampoo and that kind of stuff so we're good we also added these backing blocks there and there to add some grab bars on there so that there's a little bit more safety in there so we're going to start on this wall this exterior wall we're going to work this way i always like to leave about three eighths of an inch off the wall once this floor is together it's a floating floor and it needs to be able to move around so it doesn't buckle from there we'll just keep going get one side done we'll move the furniture over and just try to finish off the whole floor today and get it over with
finally done that shower. Took about two days, almost two days. We're gonna use two different colored grouts on this shower. The primary color is gonna be bright white and the secondary color for the accent tile will be light gray. This procedure takes a bit more time and the look is very subtle. Also, most people won't even notice the two colors, but I do think it helps the accent tile stand out a bit more. Okay, so the owner has chosen to go with a shower glass door made by Max. I have not had the pleasure of installing this particular one, so I'm sure it will be fun. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, 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 okay. Wow, yeah, got that. Uh oh, there's a problem. Okay, this should be a piece of cake. <laughs> Says to the edge. It's parallel to the edge. edge. You need the caps on before you put that on. Jeez. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It goes like this. But uh, reverse though. No. Yeah, there's, no, there's a cut out. That's it. <laughs> like that? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, after caulking the new shower, a splash of paint on the walls, and a good clean, I have to say, the before and after is night and day. Even the new floor ties in perfectly to the new bathroom. The owner's happy, and Matt and I are happy now that we stopped arguing about the shower door. 
Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a very challenging bathroom renovation due to it being a trailer, but we got through it and uh, everything turned out great. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. If you have any comments or questions about this reno or any other, leave them in the comments below. I'll give you one last look at this nasty view that we had to suffer through for this entire two weeks. Boy, that's hard to get used to. Anyhow, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.